Hey, what's up guys? Right back with me, you see a Nissan Maxima. This is a 2008 model, but the rest of them are the same. And the bearing in the back right there, as you can see, I got it all apart. Gonna give you a complete procedure, torque specs, the part number. I'm using this Moog brand right here. Very good part. Part number 512292. Okay, I hope that helps you guys, but this is a hub assembly and uh, comes in a box just like that and uh, loud noise I am showing you this one how to do it completely with torque specs the part number is the same I'm waiting for the other piece I'm gonna take the other part I'm gonna show you it once it's all apart but procedure is the same I'm not gonna be mostly showing the other side but right and left is the same this is the left or driver side of here and uh, complete procedure right so don't forget to subscribe to my channel share and like and watch my video if you want to do it you can do it yourself okay so we got the maxim on the lift and uh we're gonna remove the tire yeah the wheel lock we'll take off the wheel lock he looks something like this and that fits on that so give you a little bit of walk through what we're about to do we're gonna remove the discs so pretty much we're gonna take off the caliper bolts one right there one right there the bracket bolt right there and uh, I'm gonna give you torque specs on all these bolts and then uh, the disc will come off brake will come off I am just to be safe gonna remove the ABS sensor bolt right there and then you got four bolts two and two that's holding the hub assembly in place okay so that's the procedure right there okay so let's take this off And then and the wheel comes right off. Hopefully it um, doesn't fall. See how? Just be careful with your legs. It's a heavy rim. Alright, so there we have it. Now we can be going back over here and take off. I am gonna take off um this bolt is not gonna come off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the top bolt and uh, then the two bolts in the back okay so what I like to do is use a ratchet uh, I'm gonna loosen this up a lot of time these maxima the bolts will be jammed up because this bolt itself is the sliding pin so if it doesn't budge don't go crazy it's best you replace that caliper and I'm gonna loosen up. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave the bottom one alone because it's never gonna come out. And once we got the other, these two out, the two back bolts, they're number 19s. And uh, the whole caliper will come down with it. So I'm gonna have to turn, turn, turn here. This is one thing I don't like about the Nissan system because the whole thing has to turn. Usually if it get jammed over here, you can't even remove this little bolt here. There you have it. Let's put that sliding pin to the side. Now I'm gonna go get my uh, number 19. I'm probably gonna use a uh, rat wrench on a wrench. So you're not gonna be able to see, but this is the bolt I'm taking off right there. That's the bolt right there and then there's one in the bottom for the bracket of this caliper. So those are the two I'm taking off right now. And usually they're not easy to budge. So let's see if we can do it. Like that. Oh yeah, they're, they're not easy to budge at all. So maybe I can uh, remove this caliper out of the way a little bit. Okay, caliper won't go nowhere either. That thing has to come out and you can't even put like impact gun because there's no clearance here. Ooh, super tight. So I managed to get this one loose with the wrench on a wrench. 
But the top one over there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put a ratchet, long ratchet from right over here. Okay, so I got this long ratchet with this extension and a number 19. I might shorten up a little bit on the extension. It might be too long. Yep. But fits good. Fits really good. So I'm gonna have to use both hands and I'm gonna get this out of there. Okay, so I got both bolts loose and now I can use my little gear wrench here. So wow, that bolt took every single little ounce of energy. Just to loosen it up. Okay, so I got it mostly out. I'm gonna leave it in there because if I take it out completely, the bottom one's gonna give me trouble and it's not gonna, it's gonna move the whole caliper around. So let that be there for a little bit. my head had on the camera so we're working on the bottom one here and it's coming out There's the bolt. Okay, and I'm gonna take out the top bolt completely now. And we should be able to take out this whole bracket here. And I want you to notice, this thing goes through that bolt. It works like a little washer. So make sure you put that right through. And that holds the ABS line. So this is the driver side rear hub assembly. How long is this bolt? Or is it just jammed in there? Okay, there you go. We got our caliper out. We can just let it sit right there. This bolt is like corroded in there. Okay, we got that out. Perfect. Okay, so next step is we're gonna take off this disc their disc will not come out so easy so you're gonna have to hammer it work some magic there but in my case it's loose okay put that to the side you got the e-brake in here and yeah I can feel this thing is jammed up anyways we're gonna go in the back I am gonna take off the bolt for the ABS sensor just to be on the safe side so it is gonna be a little bit tough to see. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take off this number 12 bolt right here for the ABS sensor. Hopefully you guys can see it back here and the ABS sensor should come out. Okay, so if you feel that the bolt seems to be like, uh, it doesn't wanna come out, don't break it, leave it alone because uh, I don't think it's necessary to replace, to remove that. Where the hell is it? Okay, I'm gonna have to get a small extension for this. So, I can't even see it myself, but there it is. I got number 12 on this. And am I going the right way? Yep. It feels like it's stiff, eh? so I don't. I might not wanna take it out. I might not wanna break that's the bolt for the sensor. Not working no angle is working and over here I have my camera
Okay, let's leave this bolt alone. It doesn't even want to budge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the other four bolts that I showed you back here. And they look like uh, 17 millimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna use a 17 millimeter with my impact gun right from back here. And hopefully they come out smooth. If they don't come out smooth, I'm screwed pretty much. Maybe have one. So let me take this camera and show you exactly which bolt I took out. Only if I could grab my light. So here we are with four bolts loose and my light just wants to go any direction. So that's one right there. I like to keep them in order. Two. So I know they're all the same size. So these two are the same, the bottom two. Three. Okay. Three are same and four is same. And that was the ABS bolt I was trying to take out. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit because I did the move a little bit and it goes right through the hub assembly. So everything should be loose and we can come out of here. And all we need to do is just tap this bearing with hammer and hopefully it falls down okay everything was easy so far but uh this is the part that i hate i hate hammering things and uh pay attention to this whole brake mechanism the plate and everything because everything is held just like a sandwich with those bolts this is the part i hate because i broke two fingers first one was with the slide hammer and I hate hammers. But there we have it, guys. Um, only problem with this is uh, you see all that corrosion. A lot of times it will get stuck in there. So you really got to bang, bang, bang. And you got the ABS sensor in there. And it reaches that electric wheel right there. All right. So there we have it. And what we're going to do next is I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to wait for the bearing. And we're going to put a little bit of greasing there. Okay. So wire brush. Clean this really well so your bearing can sit flush. Don't damage the ABS sensor. Try not to breathe in all this dust. Okay, there we have it. Blow some air it on it. Clean it up really well. Alright, this is all the bearing. Just pay attention to it. This little guy was up, okay? Just in case you forgot. How it goes in okay but I don't know if the new one's gonna have that see the little hole right there and there's a lot of discoloration right there so that's another sign how this came out just in case you forget okay so what we're gonna do is it's nice and clean I'm gonna take a little bit of grease just a regular grease and uh, put it all around here and then I'm gonna wait for the new barrel Okay, I'm still waiting for the pieces. Uh, so this is the driver's side and the other side, uh, passenger side, same procedure guys. It got four bolts right from the back end. You got, I only took off two on this. I did not take off the uh, brake uh, caliper bolts because I can just slide it right in and out, okay? So greased it up, same procedure on the opposite side. I'm gonna give you part number and torque specs are the same for both sides. Just to let you know, the top bolt has a built-in washer with this. So this is gonna be your washer, okay? So the other bolt sitting down here from the bottom here has a washer, okay? So that's the order you're gonna put it in. So I'm gonna complete both sides, but only gonna show you one side, that side, and I'm gonna give you torque specs for everything. Okay, we got our bearing. Again, this thing is gonna go up this notch. So the torque specs for the four bolts are is an 87 foot pound but tighten them in sequence okay tighten this one first and that one then this one this one and then give it a touch around okay so 
And uh, the two bolts over here are 38. I wasn't sure, but uh, that's what I found. And um, the other two 14 millimeter bolts are 28 foot pound. So there you go. That's all the torque specs I can give you. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab one of the bolts. And I'm going to push it in from the back end right there. Hopefully you can see. Okay, let me see where this is at. And there's the bolt. So once I get this in there, what I'm gonna do is uh, simply, the lighting is not the best. I don't know what's going on here. But let me put my light up here. Hopefully that makes it better. Okay, but this goes in just like so. And try to catch the threads before you let it go. Once you catch a few threads, then you're going to know that it's perfectly aligned. And then you can just push it in there. And I'm going to grab another bolt. Okay, there you go. I'm going to grab the bottom bolt in this corner. And I'm going to put that in next. And there you go. That's better lighting. Still not perfect. But they're all same size. The bolts are all same size. That we discovered as we took them out. Okay, wiggle it around, try to catch the threads. Perfect. One last bolt left on this bottom corner. I'm not even looking back there. See, that's how easy this is. So what I'm gonna do with it, guys, is I'm gonna tighten this, and then uh, after that, uh, I already gave you the torque spec, so tighten all the bolts to the proper spec. If you don't have a torque wrench, just do it best as you can. But anyways, that's how it is, and then we're gonna put the rotor and the caliper on. Okay, our hot bearing is really tight, like it's supposed to be. Remember, this bolt gave me a little bit of trouble, but we're gonna manage to get that in there. The next, the disc goes in, perfect, just like that. And then we're gonna grab our uh, caliper here. Remember, the one with the little bracket, the ABS bracket, that bolt doesn't have a washer, so the bracket becomes its washer. One in the bottom, that's this one. That is uh, for the bottom of this caliper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply Finish out the job here. I already gave you guys the torque specs for everything. And uh, follow it. Okay, time for me to take this caliper. Make sure your brake pads are in there. Once you ride on this, in the beginning, it's gonna make a noise and it's gonna be tough to get the bolts to align with the hole. So I'm gonna try to catch the bottom one in first since that was easy to take out. All right, so this bolt is tight and that bolt is tight. This is tight. Make sure your rubber boot sits on properly from both ends. So I'm gonna fix this one up. There you go. I'm gonna have to get something. Cause one side goes on, the other side comes off. So I'm gonna do that with some type of, okay, there you go, perfect. A little bit more, no, good. Same thing here. All right, make sure your brake pads are in. Don't be fooled since you slid it on, you didn't take out nothing that you're missing a brake pad and you're riding on a caliper. Pay attention to that. But anyways, thank you for watching.